Hello everyone, this is Ian Ormus with Tech Defense, and today on Tech Tip episode 28, we're going to talk about CrowdStrike's tool called CrowdInspect. This episode of Tech Tip is brought to you by the SANS Institute. Use code SECUREABIT underscore TECH5 for 5% off any course in any format at SANS.org. All right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I um, want to first off apologize for my raspy voice and the sniffling you'll probably hear. I've been a little bit under the weather the last couple days, so uh, I'm going to try to power through this, but uh, keep in mind my voice is a little bit rough right now. But anyways, uh, today we're going to be looking at a tool put out by uh, CrowdStrike called CrowdInspect, and this tool is uh, basically going to look at processes that are running on your machine, and the connections that they're making out. Do a little bit of analysis on those to identify ones that may be malicious um, and point those out to you. So a really good live forensics tool when you want to find out what processes and uh, connections you should really be focusing on in your uh, forensics investigation. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. So I already have it downloaded onto my malware analysis via and I just threw it in my tools directory along with everything else that I have. So you'll see Crowd Inspect right here. So let's just go ahead and open it up. If you open up CrowdInspect.exe, if you're on a 32-bit machine, it's going to launch a 32-bit launcher. If it's 64-bit, it'll extract the 64-bit one out and run that for you. So this is what you're presented with here, which is a, um, a nice little web GUI, um, or not web GUI, a nice little GUI to uh, display all the information that you're going to want to see about these processes. So um, let me walk you through the tabs real quick and talk about a little bit what they do. So the first thing we have here is the live versus the history. So right now we're viewing live uh, as things happen, as they're connecting out, we're seeing everything that's going on. If we wanted to see like what happened previous to this, we have the history one is going to show all the previous stuff and this will show a whole lot more once I uh, show you some stuff in a little bit. So um, if you want to pause your live capture, you hit the pause button. If you want to focus on TCP or UDP, you can select which one specifically you want to view. Um, if you want to see the full path to the uh, process, you can hit full path and it's going to display that out for you. The kill process does what you think it will do, right? It'll attempt to kill a process. So say we don't want Chrome up. We can kill the process. It's going to kill Chrome and close uh, the connection, TCP connection. So say we didn't want CrowdStrike talking uh, to that AWS server it was talking to a second ago. We could hit close TCP and it would close that connection. Hitting the properties tab is just going to bring up the uh, default properties tab for the application. So, yeah, your typical stuff here. Virus total results are going to show you, so let's, really, let's go with one of these, right? So, uh, virus total is also shown in this column here, and I'll talk about these columns in a moment. But if I hit virus total results for whichever process I have selected, it's going to tell me if it's been scanned as being a virus anywhere. So, for instance, uh, eSafe has has identified this as being a virus, so your 2% rating there, that's one out of however many uh, scanners were found. So this is the result it gives you. It gives you the process name, the uh, 256 hash, and then uh, the AV, whether it was detected or not, the version of that AV updated, and what the result of that was. And then uh, copy all does what it sounds like it'll do. So if I hit copy all, let's go to notepad real quick. And it's just going to copy out what you see here. And it's going to use a delimiator of type. All right, so uh, that gives you the generics of this top tab section. Uh, the about obviously just gives you information about CrowdStrike and where they pull this information from, uh, which is actually important when we get over here. So uh, process name, 
uh, everybody knows what that means. Your PID is your process ID. It's going to tell you if it thinks it was injected, um, which this will become more apparent when I actually launch some malware on here and, and show you that. Um, virus total, we've already talked about, is going to give you a percentage uh, based on the number of virus scanners that identified whatever this happens to be as malware. This is the malware hash repository put out by um, team CRU right here. So it's going to uh, let you know if it's identified it there. Um, and also uh, Web of Trust, WOT is Web of Trust, going to give you its web reputation uh, for that particular IP or domain. Um, it's going to tell you if it's TCP or UDP, the state that's in, that it's in, so whether it's listening, whether it's waiting, whether it's sent out a pin, um, it's going to tell you all that here. The source port, the uh, local IP address that this would be spawning from, so whether it's your loopback or all of your interfaces or just your, uh, your main NIC. And uh, the remote port, so your destination port, and remote address and DNS, so it's going to attempt to resolve that. So that gives you an overview of what is actually in, or what this can show you. Let me run some malware and then give you a little bit more detail. So let me pause a moment while I run a whole bunch of malware on here. Okay, so uh, I've gone ahead and resumed the video now, and you should see a whole lot more stuff going on here. So let's look at the history. You can see uh, we've introduced some new processes, and they've talked to some new things. So let's go back to live, and we can start seeing how this works. So obviously, uh, you know, green is good or presumed good, um, and then it goes, I guess, orange and then yellow. You think that would be the opposite, but no. Uh, orange, yellow, red. So um, over here, for instance, it looks like the Explorer process has been injected uh, based on uh, what they were able to uh, see here. And that was probably injected by, uh, we already lost it, but um, probably injected by the new boss process when that was around. Oh, here it is. Okay, um, so here we can see that this guy, and if you right click on any of these, you can start uh, pivoting to all the kind of stuff that we had up here anyways. So if we wanted to view the virus total results for that one, now we can see a whole bunch more trues going on, a more valid rating for that. In addition to that, we can start seeing um, where it's going to, what IPs, what hosts it's going to, and that gives us some uh, more indicators that we can start checking into. And you know, it's just you know, doing something along the lines of a you know, TP. Oh, let's actually type netstat correctly. Right. Uh, no, not ATP. That's A N B. There we go. Right. So it's doing along the lines of a netstat tech A and B, which is, you know, going to try to print out the. Um, all the connections that are happening, and if it can, it will give you the actual process that's involved. So it's doing something very similar to that, but giving it to you in a format that is much easier for you to use, and that you can copy out and uh, throw into a spreadsheet or, or do whatever you wanted to do with it. And now you have some indicators to start looking at. So uh, we know, hey, this guy looks kind of weird. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and check into him so we can go and, and do our normal stuff that we do. Like, um, I think I have it. Here.py.t. Okay, so we can see, oh, hey, that redirects to here. It's not with any blacklist that we know of. It's in the United States. Um, so now you get some information that you can start you know, looking directly into with uh, whatever other tools you want to. But yes, as you can see, it's pretty apparent to see which ones are stuff you may want to look at, right? We know Explorer has been ejected at this point. We know SVC host. 
has been injected. Uh, we know which processes we want to focus on with volatility now. We pull up our memory image of this. You have a lot of data to start your investigation with. Um, and while this is great for you know, DEFER, this also, uh, our digital forensics and uh, incident response, this is also a, a pretty decent tool to be able to, uh, you know, if, if you guys are like me, anytime you go and visit family or, or, uh, or, or friends, you know, back in your hometown, you end up having to look at 30,000 machines because they think it has malware on there. Well, this is another tool to kind of validate the claims that they're making and, and uh, give you a place to start for helping them clean up their machines. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and you know, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments on the YouTube video or on the uh, Tech Defense post itself. Uh, you can hit me up at all the normal spots, so be sure to uh, you know, let me know what, what's going on. If you have any tools or techniques you want me to cover, uh, hit me up and, and let me know and I'll, I'll get on it. Alright, thanks guys.